Johnson. Hi, I have Derek Ives here in the kitchen with me, and we're uh, we're we're learning how to bur how to rip. Uh, what are you doing, Derek? You're putting a uh, I'm putting a Van Halen CD into the notebook, and then we have iTunes running on the screen here. And let's start the player. And uh, what that'll do is it'll connect to the network, and we'll switch to the other thing. So, Derek, you had a question, and your question was, if you rip a CD, what format is it going to be in? Correct. Correct. What you want to do is you want to go to, um, you want to find options here. It's probably preferences. And you want to do uh, store, I believe. No, oh, sharing. We'll get it right, one of these. Import, here we go. So when you're in importing, you want to change importing here. To, from this is uh, by default it's going to record it in Apple standard so you will need to change it on yours and I usually do mp3 if I'm doing um, uh, if I'm doing a book on tape I usually set the quality to be really low uh, I'll go into custom but if you're doing music in your case maybe you want to go higher quality and then it'll play on any mp3 player but higher quality will take up uh, less disk space or sorry, Did more disk space. Start you could only do it all that. I think they always had it. You just always have to drill oh, into it and find it. Yeah. So when I do yeah. books on tape like a Harry Potter, I'll set this at uh, at 48. Uh, sometimes you can even set it at uh, at mono, or th this will actually join joint stereo. I'll join them together. That's the other thing with my recording from this phone. It only seems to record one track, so I'd have to use a program just to split it, split the tracks. Yeah, another thing I do too, and I'll, I'd have to put a music disc in to actually show you, uh, is what I'll do is uh, I actually join the tracks together to one. Is that what you're talking about, or you well, want to do it the other way around? Mono, which doesn't matter when I'm doing mono. Right, let me, uh, let me pause this video, actually. Am I even recording a video? Yes, I am. And uh, what that'll do is it'll connect to the network, and we'll switch to the other thing. No, this actually is a video camera. And you do this, and you just plug the you record soft tutor around here. You plug it in, and you put you put the whole project together. Okay. Sorry, I uh, didn't didn't pick up the headphones and talk in time. So uh, <laughs> it says, "Would I like to import the CD?" And I'll choose yes. Uh, one of the things I was talking to Derek about is if I select all these by doing, oops, I did a control shift. If I do a control all and then go here and do advanced, I can join all of the CD tracks. I'm not sure that's what you want to do or not, but what this does now is it's going to, if I was recording a book on tape, what I'd want to do is I'd want to join all of the little chapters together. Actually, yeah, if I now now basically it's going to give me one one song that's like uh, I don't know 35, 40 meg or 100 meg or something like that. It's just one little track. Right? Yeah, now you wanted to do the opposite of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I have to unjoin that this. But in your case, you're you're ripping a record. Right, but it's, uh, sometimes it's. Uh, so there is a break on the tracks, so I can actually hit a button, and it'll put a break in. Mm, good question. I wonder if there's some way to go through and take the take the uh, quiet parts out. Well, if I want to play them on a CD player, I, I sometimes want to go to particular tracks, so that's what I'm going to do with some tracks. Yeah, if I was to import Van Halen here, I'd, I'd want it to be higher quality than... Uh, than a book quality. But usually with me, my ears are not too particular. I can get away with uh, a little bit lower quality. Yeah, in your case, because you're, arch you're archiving. So, and then basically you just rip it. Depending on how fast your computer is, it's going to go. You can just, you know how to rip it, right? You just convert the selection to MP3. And it'll... Yeah, but iTunes yeah. is free. Oh, is it? Yeah, so just download it and um, and set it up to MP3. 
and then uh, it, it, sometimes it'll actually get the album art and everything else. You know, it'll get the cover. Yeah, go out to the web. So if if you had an iPod, do you have an iPod or you, you have a, just a regular MP3 player? Yeah. You can just drag these. When I copy them, no copy. Let's 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 copy one or two, or I'll just convert the selection. This will take a couple of seconds. Um, I'm on a dual processor uh, PC here. Let's see how long this takes. Uh, right now, it looks like the problem is the speed of the the CD. As that speeds up, it'll convert faster. We're at uh, 1.8 times. And there might be the this might be the track that's at the innermost part of this of the CD. Which is the part that spins the slowest or uh, has the least amount of data? Now it's picking up. When it gets down to the end of this, it's gonna it's gonna actually go a lot faster, and then then it'll be based on my CPU. We can look at our processors here. Is that Van Halen on the radio? Oh, it's actually playing on here. <laughs> That's where it's coming from. <laughs> Let me pause. Let me stop that. That's another thing. But anyways, yeah, it's using two of my processors, but not not up to a hundred percent of either of them. And I have four gig of RAM on my uh, notebook here, and this is a problem with Vista. It only sees three point five. That's interesting. Slightly different. Oh, is that the two channels? Yeah, and you know what else too? I'm recording the screen capture at the same time, so that's why it's slowing down. Probably if we look at our processes. And we see which ones are using up the CPU time. Actually, nothing right now. And not very much. Only 8% of the CPU? I find that hard to believe. But maybe it's... That's weird. That might even be a bug in Vista. It's got to be more. It's got to be like... What's this down here? It says 5%. CPU usage, 40. Huh. Well, I guess so. 50, 60, 70. So my Camtasia is only using up four percent of my CPU, <laughs> and my iTunes is only using five. I find that hard to believe, because five and four is a lot more than forty and fifty percent. You know, so there might be another glitch in uh, Vista. Anyways, I'm going to stop recording this. Well, actually, I can uh, show you where this goes. Let's uh, shrink this down. And uh, that's another thing I just hate about. Uh, Vista is figuring out where files go. So let's see if it's just putting them in music. Uh, iTunes Music. It knows it's Van Halen because I'm connected to the internet, and it can look up uh, information on the disc. So that's another nice thing about this. In your case, when you're doing albums, it's not that smart. So uh, basically, here's where my Van Halen is, and uh, it's an MP3. And it's uh, making Judgment Day right now. And then as I listen to it, I can do just like what I do in iTunes by changing the rating. Uh, maybe I can't change the rating. And what's the point of having a rating if you can't change it? <laughs> what's the rating for? Tell you what you think of the music. Properties. Well, yeah, it's like should be your... F you can go through and you can uh, set the ratings and then you can... Uh, yeah, play all your five stars, or play, or, or or sort it based on five, four, three, two, one, and sometimes it gets a rating based on how many times you've played it. And I'm not sure how to set the rating in here. Uh, I thought I could just choose the star with the mouse button, but I'm not. Yeah, what are we doing as far as that? It's still working on uh, ripping Judgment Day. So I'm going to quit this little video, but that's. Uh, a little bit of iTunes. There's an awful lot more. Uh, I was at the library the other day and I made a video. <laughs> I made a soft tutor for this. Somebody shared their iPod with everybody at the library. So I was on this list here and I scrolled down and it said like, uh, what was it? Rita's, Rita's iPod. So I listened. I listened to her songs on my computer at the library. It was hysterical. I feel like we're doing a radio talk show. You know, we're doing a vlog or whatever it is. Let's see, so I just want to stop this.